Let's go ahead and get started. This is a standard stairway. I built a whole bunch of these three stringers, a three foot wide set of stairs, three quarter inch plywood. And when I first started, we used five eighths of an inch plywood. So let's go ahead and take the tread off riser there and take a look at it from the side. Everything's nice and straight, right? The lumber hasn't shrank, or if it has, you got lucky and everything hasn't moved. Now remember, plywood's probably not going to shrink or expand much, especially if it's not getting a lot of water. But lumber, conventional lumber, Douglas fir, it can shrink, and I've seen it uh, happen quite often. When it does shrink, and uh, you can put all the adhesive you want and glue on here, if it shrinks, it could actually separate. Depends on how, how much it would shrink. So this is one of the biggest problems with conventionally framed lumber and plywood. We have a, a material that's not going to move very much and then one that actually could, especially if it's not really dry. So let's go ahead and put the two by risers on here and uh, three quarter inch treads. Let's go ahead and remove them. Take a look at what it would look like there. Everything's nice and straight. Again, perfect, great. So if it stayed like this, I, th I don't think you would have a problem. However, if it looks something like this, and we all know that lumber bows, and it twists, and of course it cups too. And of course, with a combination of this material shrinking and this material shrinking, the stringers and the risers, you could end up with some uh, wider variations. And of course, something like this could create a problem. This one here, if it shrank even more, this gap could be even taller. Now, if you glued and screwed and nailed all of this stuff together, would it do something like this? It could. And that's my point. I don't think you're going to be able to build a heavy duty stairway. You're not going to be able to build some monster stairway that's not ever going to squeak. You're just going to be reducing the possibilities of them squeaking. And by having two materials that uh, move and one that doesn't, then you could end up with kind of like wasting your money installing the heavy duty risers. And of course, that's the main point here. If you are going to do something like this, you want to make a heavy duty stairway then why not just use inch and an eighth plywood for your risers and your treads? An inch and an eighth plywood, even I've seen this happen. I've seen the lumber shrink on these a little bit. Um, I've seen them separate from the glue. And I'm not saying it would, it would separate from all adhesives, but I, we used to use a lot of construction subfloor adhesive, which was a glue that was real brittle when it dried. And you know what I'd be suggesting is, suggesting is that you glue the top of the riser, glue the stringers, top of the stringers, and then glue the back of the tread or the front of the riser down here at the bottom and then install your tread and then simply nail it to the stringers. I don't think you would need to nail it to the plywood because the plywood is not going to move much. So I'm not going to give you an opportunity to, to squeak uh, there, but it could over here. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.